Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a thrift haul and this one's gonna be a fun one, another fun one. I actually have some shoes, which I rarely pick up shoes. I found a handbag, which I rarely find handbags that I want. And I have some other great stuff. So if you aren't subscribed and you would like to be, uh, and you wanna see more of Luna occasionally popping up in videos, definitely hit the sus subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, if you like these thrift hauls, if you wanna see more shoes in the future, um, hit the thumbs up, let me know, I appreciate it. Also, I should note, I'm a little scatterbrained. I've started this video a couple times, but I have some California condors right outside of my house. And every time they would get, come really close to my windows, I was like jumping up, trying to get some footage for my vlog channel, which also, if you guys didn't know, I don't think I've shared this on this channel. I have a second channel, it's linked below. It's just my random life. Uh, I try to upload at least a video a week there. So um, if you're bored and wanna check that out, definitely do. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the handbag because I, yeah, I like this. Um, this is just a really great snakeskin style bag. It's got the two handles. It's got the longer strap. So you could wear it in multiple different ways. This, I've only found this brand a couple times and it's been a while. So I had to re look up comps to make sure I wasn't losing my mind on the value, but it's Alice and Olivia. And the one thing I didn't notice when I picked it up, a, it's got the long strap, which you can remove. It's got the shorter straps, which is great. The only thing I didn't notice was inside it's got the, um, little kind of wallet thing. And then it also has the brand a uh, little strap. So this is the little brand thing that you can put on the one of the straps. If you can see though, the color difference is pretty drastic. I mean, so this clearly was loved and this was the original color. So I just noted it. I'm not gonna stress, you know, most people won't even use this kind of stuff. And I personally think the color is just fine. But um, yeah, lots of branding all over as far as Alice and Olivia on the hardware, it's even on the feet. So, you know, when there's a lot of branding, it's usually a good sign of um, quality and also value most of the time. All right, so I'm gonna jump into some shoes. Two of these pairs I'm gonna keep, or I'm gonna maybe wear them this winter. I don't know, we'll see. And then I'll sell them maybe after this winter. A uh, pair of rain boots, which I used to have a pair of rain boots, but they were a little snug, so I just didn't wear them because they were uncomfortable. These are actually Kate Spade, and they obviously need to be cleaned up because <laughs> someone loved them, but they are just a basic black rain boot, and I believe they were a size nine. Um, so, were they a nine? Yes, a nine. So anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear them a couple times this winter and then I'll sell them because we don't get too much rain where it's, you know, like a daily thing, but they're basic, they're good quality and I figured I'd try them out. And then the other pair that I'm gonna keep, I wear my Uggs nonstop almost every day in the winter. I have a pair of black Uggs and I've been kind of keeping my eye out for a pair of the tan color now these, you know, there are fake Uggs. I feel like these are just an older style, which is why the tag doesn't match up, but they could be fake. I, to be honest, I tried to do a little bit of research. So these were marked 15, but they were on sale. They had a sale. Um, so these are a women's nine, tried them on cozy, comfortable. They have this really nice detail down the back. I couldn't find this exact tag when I did some research. So I'm sure some of you guys are Ugg experts. You know, to be honest, I'm not planning on reselling them. So if they aren't real, I don't really mind too much because yeah, but like they've got this tag. I like, I'm wondering, I did look up vintage Uggs and I found a number of different styles and tags, but I couldn't find any, any exactly like this. So anyways, they seem to be in pretty good shape and they're going to be a new winter shoe for me. I'm ready for winter. All right. That's it for me keeping the two shoes. I found a pair of Sorrells, which I do believe these are vintage and they need to be tied, laced, laced up, but really cute little pair of black Sorrells. They do have the removable uh, liner and there's the other angle of Sorrells. Um, yeah, I don't find too many Sorrells and so I think these are pretty tiny. Women's seven. So 
Anyways, got those. These I was I was frustrated with. So um there were priced price stickers on the inside of the shoe. And this has happened a couple times, and so I I don't I don't know what the solution is other than trying to be really careful when removing it, but there were two identical pair of B. Mikowski shoes, and I've never tried to sell B. Mikowski shoes. I've sold their handbags a number of times. Um, and if you're curious as to what the brand kind of looks like. Uh, so this is a pretty good quality, decently priced brand. And I thought, oh, I'll give these two shoes a, a chance. Maybe the same person will buy both of them. I really liked the heel design, except that when I took off the tags, the price tags, it took off some of the part of the bottom of the shoe, which is really, really annoying. I, yeah, I know a lot of thrift stores are not doing things for resellers, but even if I were to buy this for myself, I wouldn't want to damage my shoes like that. And I don't think they know. I don't think it's intentional, obviously, but just kind of a bummer. But I'm not expecting too much for these, but I just wanted to give them a, a shot. I do have a couple watchers on them already. So uh, as far as the Sorrells, you know, because they're, the, I, yeah, we'll see on the Sorrells. I'm still trying to do a little research to see if they are vintage. These, I'm probably only going to get 25 to 35, um, but I like the style. This is a pair of Free People, little red studded shoes. I think I've sold Free People shoes once or twice before. And they, I mean, they're not super valuable, but I just thought those were kind of cute, like a fun pop of color. Uh, these are a size 37, so six and a half, seven. These are a pair of, I feel very awkward showing shoes because I just rarely get them. These are a pair of <laughs> dance goes, kind of a funky style, like an ankle boot somewhat-ish. Um, so there's the dance go, and these are size 36, so pretty tiny. And I did find the style name of these and they seem to do okay, but because they're tiny, I'm not sure. These I got because they're just a great fall um, item. They're not gonna be super valuable. These were a dollar though, and um, they're a great size. So just a really great suede black pair of ankle boots. And this is by Susina. Yeah, Susina. I'm not sure if it's gonna show in there but they sell this brand at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. I think it's one of their house brands. Not an expensive brand by any means, but the size, that's what it was. These are size 11 medium. So I just thought, you know, it's harder for me to find larger size shoes and they, I, I usually do pretty well with them, so. All right, this is probably the biggest bummer of this batch of stuff. So these are Tory Burch and they were tied together and so I thought, oh my gosh, they're green, they're adorable, they're missing a strap. <laughs> oh, geez. I love these. I love this color. And they've got the little gold accent. I, um, they are listed correctly with the right style. Now, I did find a pair that, that sold with a missing strap, so I'm still going to sell them. Um, oh, this is the Cecile. There's already a tag, which I think is kind of interesting down there. Um, so what I said in the listing was you could, what I would do is just remove this one because it would be impossible to find a green strap this color, I think. Um, and I would just put black straps because I would probably wear this with a black dress, you know, have a little fun pop of green. Again, with the sticker coming, pulling off the bottom of the shoe. Basically, this is why I don't buy shoes because I <laughs> feel like a bit of a hot mess, but I think they, they were some fun ones. And, um, you know, the Tory Burch I did pay full price for. So I'm basically just trying to recoup my money. You know, if I could get 20 bucks for these, if I did have that other strap, I would probably be looking at more like 60 to 70 range, but it is what it is. It happens. And, um, yeah. All right. Some fun dresses on top. This is a anthropology. Yeah. And I do not know how to pronounce this, uh, but it's French. And I'm not gonna try. Yeah, I think it's source. It's yeah, I've heard people say it correctly, and it's it's a tough one. A cute little polka dot polka dot dress with lace accent on the back, which is adorable. Kind of a fit and flare. 
uh, does it have pockets? Yes, it has pockets. It's adorable. So, and this is a size eight, I want to say. Oh, this is that weird one. I, well, I think it's probably a size small based off of measurements, but there's this tag and I have tried a hairdryer. I have tried tweezers. This, whatever this tag is, is covering the size and it is so stuck on there. So stuck, like it's super glued on there or something. I just cannot for the life of me. So I actually don't know the size. So I just guesstimated based off of measurements. I think it's a size small, but boy, I don't even know where that tag is from. It's just so strange. So this is Amanda Uprichard. It's just a cute little blue silk dress, elastic waist, the ruffles, and adorable. Kind of has a little bit of a, a wrap front right there. So Amanda Uppershirt, I recently picked it up, but it, it's, it was needed some repairs. So this is the first time I'm actually listing this brand and we'll see how it does. They sell this at places like Revolve and probably other places. This is another anthropology dress and same brand that I cannot pronounce. It is a halter dress, which means nightmare to hold. Um, I'll just put it on me, but it's cute. It's got a, like a swan print. I want to say, I think that's what it is. And it's silk. The only flaw with this is there is one small pull right here, which I, I don't, I think that's trimmable, but then it would still have a little bit of a spot. So one very, very tiny pull. I just noted it. I don't think that's a deal breaker. It's a beautiful dress, so. And probably uh, with the anthropology dresses, because they're so colorful and bright, probably in that 35 range is what I'm guesstimating on sale price. The Amana Uppertured, when I looked up comps for that, similar blue silk ones, not the exact one, were more in that 25, 30 range. Uh, but some of those, some of their dresses can do better. Some of her dresses can do better, so. All right, this is a little Madewell top. This I've sold this exact top, not this, not this color, but this exact top a couple times. It's very oversized. Um, a lot of people just kind of tuck it in the waistband and wear it kind of loose, but just a little short sleeve plaid shirt. I can't remember the name, but it is listed correctly. This is Marine Layer. I actually purchased this because I thought I would probably wear it a few times before selling it, but it's a little short for me. I like a little bit of a longer length top. This is basically right at the hips, but it's soft, it's comfy, casual, and it, you know, it would be great because I do like a little bit oversized and that's kind of perfect for me, but um, I just wish it were a little bit longer. All right, this is a bodysuit by Lovers and Friends. Let's see which direction. Um, it has this cutout on the front. It's gonna be a little hard because it's black, but I've done pretty well with bodysuits. So I do like to pick them up if I see them, but the cutout in the front, here is the tag. And this is also sold at places like Revolve and Nordstrom and you know places like that. But this is an XL, I believe as well. Yeah, so it's a great size. So anyways, this was kind of fun and different. This is, I believe a vintage sweater. I know this is a, used to be a store and, um, Bonwit Teller. I don't think it's around anymore, but I could not find comps for any sweatshirts with their branding on it. So I'm just winging it. It wasn't very expensive. It does have the Russell branding right down here. And I think it was a good size. It was a size XL, but yeah, you know, I just like taking chances. Someone who knows that this is um, kind of a older store like a department store, a higher end department store, might really like that branding. So nice little vintage piece, but I didn't really know how to price it. So I didn't, I didn't price too high with that one just cause it's kind of a sweatshirt, but all right, this is, I tried this on. Um, this is Aster. It's kind of a boutique, high end boutique brand, but it does not have a great resale value, but this is an XL it's black floral, which is one of my favorite things to wear. And I tried it on thinking, uh, maybe if I had, something fun to do at some point in my life after COVID hits, I would have a cute little dress, but it's wrap dresses are really, really, really tough 
uh, if you have a chest because it's very revealing. Um, and yes, you could wear, you know, a tank under and stuff like that, I'm trying to tie this up, but it's beautiful. If I did not, if, you know, if I were a little smaller up top, I would probably be able to pull this off, but I just have never had much luck with wrap dresses for that reason. Um, but I think it's adorable. All right. This is, I saw this brand once or twice and it's always a little bit hard to see until you know what it is, but it's, it's the brand is called three dots and I'm probably only expecting, and this is kind of a tunic. I don't know what, I don't even know what to call it, but there's the three dots branding, but it's kind of a, like it's, I don't know how to describe this. It's a tunic. I think this would be really cute with leggings. It's got the asymmetrical. So basically when you wear it, it kind of ruches up a little bit on the hips. So I think it's just a really great basic piece and perfect with a pair of leggings this fall. So uh, probably in that 25 to 30 range, I believe. This one, I was really excited to find. I used to find this brand quite a bit and it is a pretty expensive brand, but I haven't found it in a long time. So it's I think I've been corrected with this. I want to say it's hot and then it's hout. It's hout, hout tippy, hot, hout. Anyways, I've been corrected before, but we're going to run with it. Uh, love this dress. Gray. It's got the very subtle pocket detail on the front. Um, it's kind of got this pleating, which just lays really nicely. I put it on the mannequin and it's just absolutely beautiful, but they make really great, a lot of silk pieces and I just love their stuff. So I was excited to find that one. This was maybe my favorite of the day. Maybe, uh, it's, it's an anthro brand and I've never seen it, but Sansia, Sansia. Sansia is what my guess is. Uh, this is a linen blend jumpsuit. Very awkward to hold up. So it's got a cross back. So this is the top and then the back. Oh man, there's a tie and there's crossing and I'm untying it now. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna fail miserably with showing this one, but Anyways, my favorite part is actually the bottom. Very, very wide leg, cropped bottom with this subtle detail. I love the color. It's got these high slits on the side. I just feel like this is a really great vacation piece. Um, just, it would photograph beautifully. It would, it just feels very comfortable. And I think it was a good size, a size large, which is great. So some of the stock photos for similar jumpsuits to this, were absolutely beautiful. And some of them are selling for close to a hundred. I think I'm probably aiming more for that 60, 60 to 70, 60 to 80. I can't remember how I priced it, but that's, I think a good pickup. And my average, I, this day was not, this was a few different stores. My average cost of goods was a little bit higher this day, probably more in that $5 range. Um, so I did get some sale items, but yeah. All right, this is a fun one. This is Bowden. And this is actually a 22, size 22 long. It doesn't actually feel all that long. So, I mean, obviously I provide measurements, but it's just a beautiful, soft, stretchy dress. And the waist has a little bit of ruching at the kind of high part of the waist. And it's kind of a maxi, although if you were really tall, it would probably be more like a midi, but just a fun, casual dress and a fantastic size. So. These are adorable. Uh, it's Anthropology Elevensies. And these are um, kind of a cropped slim leg pant. They've got a little tie at the end of the ankles or at the ankles and size large. I would, if I had somewhere to wear these, I would definitely wear them, but it's kind of a higher waist, has some pockets, just seems pretty comfortable and casual. Like you could dress this up or down type of thing. Um, and I'm trying, I'm blanking on the Bowden dress. I think the comps, because of the size, I'm probably going to start at, you know, around 40, hope for about 30, 35. I can't remember. Maybe I priced it at 44. The Elevens, these pants, you know, I'm probably not going to get too much, but I like the style. So, all right, this is a pair of, I think this is called the motocross uh, pants from Rag and Bone. 
it's got a little bit of a leather accent right here and then it's got this paneling which just provides some really fun contrast so rag and bone jeans and this is a size 27 so all right this may have been well i i took a risk on this one because i when i looked it up in the store i it kept pulling up circus by sam edelman I believe is he's got a line that's called circus anyways i but i knew that wasn't right i knew it wasn't the same thing i did end up finding this is a uk dress brand they have a website they have adorable dresses and um they don't have this exact print still on their site so this is actually glasses and hearts i believe but they do have some really fun prints and the pricing for their original price is only i think about 70 ish dollars I'm starting this a little high because I think it's just such a unique novelty print that I think someone would really love it. UK 14 is equal to a US 10 approximately, but I just really liked the dress. So we're going to, we're going to give it a shot and I don't know how many people are searching for it or know it. And I know even looking up comps, it was hard just because Circus was pulling up Sam Edelman, but we will give it a go. All right. This is a brand I recently sold very quickly and it's kind of a goth brand that they sell Hot Topic. This is a cropped sweat, distressed sweater, hoodie sweater. Um, so you can see all the distressing and then it's got distressing kind of all over. So this brand, when you look at this tag, it is a little bit hard to read, but it says widow. And then I went and looked at the material tag and I saw lip service, which is the I sold a lip service men's item for, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks recently. So it's not a high ticket item, but it did sell very quickly for me. And this one already has a couple watchers on it. So, you know, if someone's into the punk goth scene, this is a really great piece. So probably in that 25 range is my guess with that one as well. Another Bowden item, polka dots, one of my favorites. So Bowden, this is a size four, US four long. It's a little fit and, fit and flare, three fourth length sleeves, absolutely adorable. I think this is a really great dress for fall winter. Um, it's kind of a navy blue and tan, and I think that's gonna do well. It's gonna photograph well, or it did photograph well, so. <clears throat> All right, this, I picked it up because of the color. <laughs> Um, Aster, which is ASTR. I'm not sure how, how you say it. Um, it's a little bit of a high end boutique brand does not have great comps, but retail, this is probably, you know, a hundred bucks. Absolutely love, love, love the color blues and greens, blues and greens. Um, love the lace detail and it's a good size. It's a size XL. So I have nowhere to go to wear this, but it's adorable probably in that 30, 35 range is what I'm expecting with that. This is, which I know I picked up in one of my recent hauls, I uh, showed a pair of pants by COS and some people noticed in the, when I was holding it up that it, they had been altered. And for some reason I didn't notice when I photographed. So shout out to you guys, if you did leave me a comment about that, because that's very helpful. I need to go edit the listing. Altered will still sell. I've still sold altered items, but it's important <laughs> to note. So anyways, this is COS, part of the H&M family, kind of a more um, expensive or the, one of their better lines. Um, this is a really, really great wool sweater. It's got the ribbing. They have a lot of great basics. And um, so this is gonna do really well. This is a size large. So that's probably in that 30, 35 range as well. This, I don't know what happened with this one, to be honest. This is Lafayette 148, classic trousers. Uh, these are a silk blend, love, love how classic they are, except, where is it? On one of the pant legs, it's, um, yeah, right here. So it's not the seam. Yeah, okay. So on this pant leg, the seam is right here. And then you've got this weird line that's not the seam, but it kind of, so I just noted it. It's not really a pull in the fabric because I've looked at it. It almost, it's almost like a, a slight imperfection. 
and it's just on the one pant leg. So I just noted it. I don't think it's obvious because it's so close to where the seam would be, but yeah. And this looks like it's been altered as well, taken in, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I think this has been. Man, I've just been striking in with the uh, alterations. But anyways, this is a classic pair. As long as I provide measurements, I'm not too worried about that stuff, but. Okay, lots more goodies. It's a great pair of Badewell jeans, uh, size 32. This is the 10 inch high rise skinny. So Madewell, it's got the exposed button fly and it also has a raw hem on the bottom and a little bit of distressing, not too much, but um, great pair. I would love to have this pair. When I found it, I thought I would love to have this pair for myself, but they're a little too big. So anyways, uh, this I picked up because it was a dollar. I, It's lightweight, it's easy. It's the older tag for cabbie. Um, just a semi-sheer black floral blouse. It's got this cute little detail on the sleeves, which I thought was nice. And just kind of an easy thing to throw on and just make a fun outfit. So probably only expecting, you know, 15 to 20, probably 20 for that, hopefully, but I would not have paid more than a dollar for that. This is adorable. <laughs> this is an anthropology brand, or at least sometimes sold at anthropology. It's porridge. It's fish, it's like a fish print. How adorable. It's a little like midi length skirt. It's got a front tie. It's got an elastic waist. I know some people have asked in past videos in comments that I pick up skirts. Do I sell them? I sell them. I don't sell them as easily as I sell certain things like tops are probably my top seller um, or best seller. So skirts aren't my, my best thing, but when I like them, I, I'm not, I'm not afraid to pick them up, I guess is the moral of the story. But um, I love when there's a little bit of elastic on the waist, just makes it more comfortable for people, also easier to fit people. So I really like that. I think the comps on that are about 30-ish. I didn't find that exact one. I found another novelty print by the same brand. So this is a funny brand for me because when I first started reselling and it was before I was on YouTube and I was following people on Instagram, I saw so many people get excited about Flax, the brand, and I never found it. And then the very first time I found it, which was, you know, three or four months into reselling for me, I was so excited. I was like immediately going to grab it. And I, th I don't even think I looked up comps, but it, the comps weren't really all that great. Now, I think retail for something like this is probably about, you know, 100 to 150, I wanna say is what I looked up. This is just a elastic waist skirt, has this button accent on the front, a little bit of a slit. It's a great basic. I love the color scheme, this kind of blue, tan, grayish color scheme. Um, but, and the comps, I mean, this is linen. The comps are decent for this, but I think I was just, so many people got so excited about it and I just wasn't all that impressed. And I think the first item I ever picked up was like a top and it wasn't anything special. I think this is a little bit more unique and fun. So um, we'll see how that does. These I already sold with a flaw. So these sold in a couple days. It's a pair of Adriana Goldschmied. It's a pair of men's jeans. The style is the Dylan, which is a slim skinny. Really great color. Uh, some of these can resell for 50 to 60, but I priced a little bit lower and then maybe I priced too low, but there is a back here, uh, a snag, which I didn't notice in the store. And it's not, it's not a deal breaker. I mean, I just noted it, but you know, it could turn into something more significant. So it sold for 29 in a day and these are going to be shipped off today. So this is a brand I just, I should never pick up because I just can't seem to sell it. But I, then I find a piece that I love and I still pick it up. So it's, um, Graham and Spencer velvet by Graham and Spencer is kind of the longer name, but this is a beautiful silk dress. I love the V-neck. I love the multicolor print. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I did try and put this on my size six mannequin and because there's no zipper, I couldn't get it over the shoulders. So this is a size medium, but it's, there's, it's might be a little hard to get on. <laughs> so anyways, I loved it. I'm going to take a chance on it. 
Hopefully someday some of my Graham and Spencer stuff will sell. I, it is a pretty expensive brand, not pretty expensive, but you know, it's a department store. It's a good brand, but I just can't seem to resell it. So, all right, this one, I have found this brand a couple times damaged, and this is the first time I'm picking it up to finally resell. So it's uh, Loda Stenson. Some of the stuff is really expensive. This is actually um, a high-low, it's kind of a slip beautiful color, but it's got this high-low hem. I did find, they still sell this on the website. It's really awkward to hold. Um, very lightweight. So I don't know if someone wears this, but I think it's it's perfect like a beach cover-up. But so this uh, retail for probably 60-ish dollars and probably only going to get about 25 for something like this, maybe 30. I can't remember exactly how I priced it, but uh, some of the stuff by this brand can do significantly better. So I will definitely keep an eye out for that brand in the future, but we'll see how it does this, this time. This is a fun one. The comps are not all that great. It is a high-end designer and it's, I've only picked up this designer a couple times. Beautiful, beautiful blouse. It's kind of an odd shape. It kind of has this like curve right here in a seam. So I think maybe I should take more photos of it and put it on a mannequin just to kind of show how it actually fits. But I was, I didn't have the mannequin out at that moment. Anyways, Marnie is a pretty expensive brand. Um, this is somewhere, size 40. It's just a fun little cotton blouse. I think I started this at 49, so I'm expecting around 35, 40 at best, but someone's gonna love it, so. And I already have gotten two lowball offers on it, but I'm not, I'm not willing to let it go. So this was a new one for me, and some of the, I think it's sold at Revolve and a couple other places. Alice McCall. Some of the comps are great, not so much for the skirts, but this is one of the most fun skirts ever. Uh, so it's obviously got the zipper detail in the pockets, but then it has the zipper. You can make this dress shorter. <laughs> which I love. You can basically just take off this ruffle and make it a mini skirt. So it's a two for one skirt in my opinion. But Alice McCall, I um, couldn't find any similar skirt to this. Some of the dresses and things were selling, you know, a hundred on the resale market, something like this. I'm probably only going to get about 30, 35, but we'll see. It's a new brand to try out. This one was kind of a fun one. It's a store in New York. So it kind of looks vintagey, but it's not. It's just vintage inspired. So Judy Rosen, New York, um, they are bell bottoms. And the photos of on the website definitely like lifts the rear. <laughs> it's kind of high rise. It's kind of that 70s. Um, and they very, very much focus on that on the, uh, the photos that they take. But it's a really fun pair of jeans. The only downside, and I saw this in the store and I didn't care, was there is some wear to the hem. So you can see in here. I think, I mean, they are, yeah. I mean, that just happens at times. So I just noted it. I think they'll still sell. I love the pocket detail on the front. They're kind of, um, yeah. So these retailed probably for a few hundred. I started high because there aren't many on the resale market and they're tiny, but I think the right person will find them. Okay, a few more items. I love doing these hauls because then I can look back at how, how much good stuff on certain days I found. It's like you get that high, that thrift high all over again. All right, so this is DL 1961. I've sold this brand a couple times. I picked these up because these are flare and I've had some pretty decent luck with flare recently. Um, these are size 25, small as well. This may have been the same donor, but you know, this is a pretty expensive brand. I haven't had that much luck with it as far as price, but it's, it has sold. So anyways, great little basic. We'll see how this one does probably more in that, um, you know, 30 range, but they probably retailed for a couple hundred. All right. This is a pair of Marmot, um, hiking pants. So just a typical hiking pant when it has the button on the side right here, what that is, is that you can, if you're out hiking and it's cold in the morning, oh, where are you? Um, 
and then it warms up. You can basically make it into capri length, which is nice. So convertible pant, that's a word I would use, but really great basic, probably in that 25 to 35 range. I can't remember exactly, but um, yeah. This is, I have sold this brand once before. I think I have one listed. So this is Brunello Cuccinelli, the designer, uh, which I've sold. This is one of his lines. So it's Gunnix. And these are just a really great pair of green wool pants, trousers, straight leg, kind of career focused, uh, very classic. The Gunnix line doesn't do as well as his other stuff. And it also doesn't say his name on here, but I always include his name when listing it. Um, and I, I think it was just like a number of listings I saw when I went to look it up the first time that had his name associated with it. So that's kind of how I put it all together. But all right, this one I was a little bummed about because I didn't notice a flaw. Oh, we've got, a, got one of my favorite items last. So this is just a fun little jacket. It's got some stretch. It seems really comfortable. I love all the button detail, this kind of asymmetrical look. So I have sold this brand once. I found it a few times. It's pretty, I don't, I don't know how many people are looking for it, to be honest. But Charles Ching Lima, I found this beautiful dress. I probably just need to drop the price at some point, but um, just a fun jacket. And it's got the button details on the back. The flaw with this is the lining has a couple holes and I think it was probably from like pinholes from some tags. It wasn't tags from this store, so maybe from another store, but I just noted it. It's not significantly damaged, but yeah. And lastly, this is that this is that type of brand that every time I go into a thrift store and you're thinking in the back of your mind, I'd love to find this today. This is that brand for me. I just so rarely find it. And I feel like I see people <laughs> finding it all the time. It's Johnny Wise. Um, this is just a black cotton shirt, long sleeve shirt, but it's got this beautiful embroidery all along the bottom and on the sleeves. And I absolutely love it. So I'm just noticing a little bit of the embroidery is like the string is loose in some place. So I'll have to edit that listing and just note that, but I don't think that's a deal breaker. Something like this, I'm expecting 50 to 60. Some Johnny Was items, I like one of them that I've sold went for 100. You know, some of the more elaborate stuff can sell for closer to 200. So Johnny Was, it's one of my favorite brands when I see it. And yeah, that is it. Another fun thrift haul. <laughs> I am so ready to go out thrifting again and find more great stuff. If you liked this video, if you like Luna in the background, <laughs> be sure to hit the thumbs up on your way out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.